you know, they say the Germans make some pretty dandy stuff. So today, we're going to be reviewing something German made. Thank you for tuning in to the Variety Show. And today, we're reviewing Schmier by Rumble 59's Soft Hold. So one of the positives with uh, the Rumble 59 tins is that it really has a classic look. The tin is reminiscent of what you'd find with an old Dapper Dan or a Joe Louis pomade. See, the front has a rockabilly, greasery-looking crow with a uh, cigarette in his mouth. Everything is in German, so that means fine hair pomade or the finest hair pomade. And then uh, it shows you that it's the light pomade. And it's a Rumble 59 Schmier or Schmiere. Uh, the side is really, really cool. Just kind of old style. The back has the ingredients and uh, some stuff in German. I mean, I'm not an expert in German, German, so I'm not sure what it all says. But really nice tin, cool appearance. Now let's uh, check out the product. A look inside the tin, we'll see a product. It's a kind of a whitish pinkish color and it has a very uh, bubblegum fruity scent. That's kind of the scent that I get from it. Kind of a, kind of like, I'd say like bubblegum, kind of like a, a double bubble, kind of bubble tape, kind of smell to it. It's a very oily thing. It's an oil-based pomade, so kind of like a very like slick and oily. You know, you kind of need a couple scoops to kind of get what you need. And uh, that's kind of the look of the product on the inside. Well, as you see, I actually had the Schmier White Cold Pomade in my hair. Have tried it several times, but you know, it's been a while since I've had it on, so I used it today. And my thoughts on this pomade is uh, the White, it's a very soft hold. As I'm wearing it right now, sorry, I just got a new haircut. Uh, there's a lot of flyaways with the hair. So you're not going to be getting a uh, hard to manage hairstyle out of this. I don't think you're going to really get the nice kept pompadour. But you may be able to get something like a nice slick back executive contour or something with a side part that is easier to get. With this pomade, you're going to get a hold similar to bro cream maybe a little bit better bro cream very soft hold a little easier than manage and another thing i must say about this pomade is it's really really oily it smells good it's not overpowering which i like but it's oily that means on a hot day this stuff is going to be melting in your hair and it's going to be running down your face your forehead your head and that may give you some acne. The oil-based pomades in the past have given me some bad head acne, especially when it's really hot. So one thing I didn't like is that it was way too oily. Maybe it's because mine is more than six months old. I mean, I've had this for the last couple of years, but it really runs if it's a hot day. In Northern California, we're getting upper 60s, uh, up, uh, low 70s Fahrenheit so on a hot day this might melt in your hair however I gotta say after maybe a few times after I started using this one good thing and it's kind of a hit or miss with some of the oil based products out on the market this is pretty easy to wash out so unlike a water based pomade you're going to need some shampoo and conditioner to wash this out and I gotta say, after the first wash, with a good shampoo and a good conditioner, it will come out of your hair. Maybe a little bit of buildup, but nothing too bad. So that's a good positive about this pomade, is that it, it washes out easily, uh, leaving little residue in your hair. So that's good. So just some final thoughts about uh, Rumble 59's Schmier Wipe, aka Soft Hold Pomade. Uh, it is a soft full pomade, as I said before. You're not going to get a very fine hairstyle like a uh, pompadour or anything like that. 
I'd recommend it for people with my kind of hair, a little more fine hair. Something where people with curly or wavier hair may have a lot more difficulty to style with this product. Uh, another good thing is it um, smells good, kind of a bubblegum scent, washes out easily, and that's kind of what I could say that's good about this pomade. The cons is it's really oily, do not wear it on a hot day or it will run down your face, get acne, it's terrible. The hold isn't great. Um, as I said, maybe people with fine hair will be able to get the side parts. Even with fine hair like myself, I'm not getting all the hairs down, which is kind of a con. But I do like how this washes out easily. That makes me a little excited. And another um, positive to end it all is that the packaging looks great. One last look. Kind of reminds you of pomades of yesterday. Kind of like a Murray's or a Dapper Dan from back in the 40s and 50s. So, out of a score, out of five, I'm going to have to give Schmier's White Cold a uh, average three out of five. It's not terrible, but it's not one of the greatest pomades I've ever used. It runs normally about $13 to $15, depending on where you find it. So I guess if you're first getting into pomades and you want to try an oil base and you have fine hair, go ahead. But if you're looking for something with a better hole, I'd uh, skip this product. I like the smell and it's reminiscent to me because it was one of the first pomades I tried. But really, if you need a better hold, I'd skip out on it. And uh, that's kind of my thoughts. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to another edition of The Variety Show. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and uh, share your videos with your friends. I promise these videos are going to get better with time. I'm kind of learning the YouTube game a little bit as we go on through the show. I uh, promise we'll have some vinyl record spotlights, some more oil and water-based pomade reviews, and much more, so uh, tune in, and have a wonderful day, and keep rocking.